Good morning, Hoboken. Welcome back to Namaste with Dr. A. It is Thursday of Memorial Week, and we have just one half a week left before we're entering into June, if you can believe it. So give yourself a big hug, literally. Outstretch your arms, one hand to one shoulder, the other hand to the other shoulder, and squeeze as much as you can. Separate your shoulders from each other. Give yourself a big squeeze and release. Why, you ask? You've done a lot of work. You have faced adversity during a time that's unprecedented, which means it's totally new to everybody, and you're still standing. So you deserve that hug and that acknowledgement. Today, we're actually going to really breathe in the acknowledgement of the strength we have shown already. So closing your eyes, starting to deepen your inhales and exhales. Notice the air flowing through your nose, reaching the back of your throat, going down into your chest, the rise of the chest, the expansion of the belly, and back out again out your mouth. Sounds like a lot, but let's try it together. To really notice it, put one hand on your chest and one on your belly. Inhale. We don't always notice the work our breath is doing every day until we put our hand on ourselves and draw in awareness. So today, just like the breath, we're going to draw awareness to the wonderful things you have been doing. Close your eyes, hand to heart, and listen and respond either out loud or in your mind. One more big inhale. Picture yourself during the month of May. What are the things you've done that have helped you maintain success during remote learning? Have you stayed up late to finish a project? Have you attended a Zoom session even though you didn't feel like it? Inhale. Exhale. Have you completed work even though your brothers and sisters are fighting in the background? Inhale. Exhale. Did you face the music and check out a grade that wasn't so great, but you had to look at it to make sure you knew how to bring it up? Inhale. Exhale. Did you get up earlier than you wanted to? Inhale. Exhale. Did you take initiative to email your own teachers to say, I'm struggling, can you help me? Inhale, exhale. Keep deeply breathing on your own as you listen. So often we focus on what we did not do. That grade that lowered, that assignment we missed, the Zoom we slept through. But it's crucial to give ourselves credit and to honor all the hard work we have done. And the more we focus on the positive of what we have done, what we're capable of, and in general, our strength, the better we do going forward. So taking this moment to celebrate how great you've been doing, even if you've had moments, is really important. So for me, if I'm inhaling and exhaling, acknowledging my strength, I picture working our reports in the dark in the same room as my daughter sleeps in her crib. I picture attending a Zoom meeting, wearing her. Inhale, exhale. I picture pushing a stroller, calling parents to remind them of the Lincoln assessment. Inhale, exhale. I acknowledge that I have been strong, I have been persistent, and I have tried my best. This doesn't mean I haven't fallen. It doesn't mean I didn't get to that thing that I wanted to get to, or I missed a meeting, or maybe I just couldn't wrap up something when I wanted to wrap it up. That's normal and that's human. So together, let's breathe in your strength. Together, inhale, exhale three times on your own. Acknowledge and celebrate all you've been doing right and harness the same strength to keep going this last push of quarter four. Let's 
Flutter your eyes open. Place your hands together, thumbs together at your sternum, which is right here. From my heart and home to yours, namaste. May you be well, connected. May you be strong. And last but not least, may you acknowledge the strength you have within you, all you've done so far, and the courage to understand you can continue to do it this last push of quarter four. Namaste, and I'll see you tomorrow.